Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about the characteristics of the traveling wave tube. Okay, in the previous videos we have seen the traveling wave tube types and uh, different uh, differences between the TWT and Klystron. Later we have seen the operation and working principle of this TWT. Now, what are the different characteristics that are associated with respect to this uh, traveling wave tube? Okay, that means what could be the gain and what is the power, noise and what is the efficiency of these and what is the operating frequency of this TWT. We are going to find out what are the operating and different types of characteristics that are coming under this TWT when we are going to operate with this TWT. So basically TWT is a, an amplifier. Basically TWT is an amplifier. Okay, it's not an oscillator. You should remember that it is an amplifier. Okay, so the traveling wave tube is a high gain the traveling wave tube traveling wave tube TWT is a high gain low noise high gain low noise wide bandwidth wide bandwidth microwave wide bandwidth microwave amplifier okay so i told you it is an amplifier which works at microwave frequencies and with the wide band, high gain and low noise. So that means all these features which I have stated here, very, very, very important. Okay, it is giving high gain. That means during this amplification, it gives high gain and the frequency's coverage range is also very high. So it is wide band and the noise generated within the system is also low. So that's why low noise. It is capable It is capable of gains greater than 40 dB with bandwidths exceeding an octave bandwidths exceeding an octave okay a bandwidth a bandwidth of one octave is one in which the up per cutoff frequency upper cutoff frequency is twice the lower cutoff frequency upper cutoff frequency is twice that of the lower cutoff frequency see here it is capable of giving the gains that is greater than 40 decibels. Greater than 40 decibels, not 4. It is 40 decibels. Okay. So, 40 decibels is the minimum gain that it gives. Okay. Greater than that usually it gives within the bandwidth that is exceeding an octave. Okay. So, the relation we can say the in bandwidth we can say for one octave. The relation of these cutoff frequencies is upper cutoff frequency is twice that than that of the lower cutoff frequency. Okay, so lower cutoff frequency normal, so upper cutoff frequency is twice. Okay, 2 fh. Okay, we can relate it as fh is equal to 2 fl. We can relate it as fl is equal to 2 fh. fh is equal to 2 fl. Okay, 
So traveling wave tubes have traveling wave tubes have been designed for have been designed for frequencies as slow as 300 mega hertz and as high as 50 gigahertz okay so the traveling wave tube operates with the frequencies minimum of 300 megahertz to maximum of 50 hertz okay that means it even covers the ultra high frequency to megahertz of frequencies that is the term microwave frequency gigahertz of frequencies okay so the coverage range is 300 megahertz to 50 gigahertz that means it gives the frequency it operates with the frequency of oscillations like 300 megahertz to 50 50 gigahertz the twt is primarily a voltage amplifier he is primary primarily a voltage amplifier voltage amplifier the wide bandwidth and low noise characteristics make this twt ideal for use as an amplifier in microwave equipments okay so the wide bandwidth the wide bandwidth and a low noise characteristics make the TWT make the traveling wave tube ideal for use as an RF amplifier an RF amplifier in microwave in microwave equipment in microwave equipment so TWT amplifiers traveling wave tube amplifiers and they are and they are typically capable of developing typically capable of developing powers of up to 2.5 kilowatts okay for narrow band rf narrow band radio frequency amplifier applications amplifier applications it is possible to use it is possible to use coupled cavity TWTs already I told you coupled cavities TWTs and these and these can deliver and these can deliver power levels
of up to 15 kilowatts okay so traveling wave tube amplifiers and they are typically capable of developing power of up to 2.5 kilowatts but for narrow band rf amplifier because narrow band means very high power we need to transmit high power narrow band bandwidth decreases automatically power increases so it is possible to use coupled cavity twts and these can deliver power levels up to 15 kilowatts 15 kilowatts very very high power which we are going to transmit okay so efficiency efficiency of this twt is 20 to 40 percent efficiency of this twt is 20 to 40 percent which is possible 20 to 40 percent which is possible so these are the different characteristics of this twt's thank you